hey pretties you welcome back again to my channel thanks for stopping by if you're new to my channel you are welcome friends so in today's video i'm gladly going to show you guys how i make this beautiful wig cap guys it's not difficult to make only if you have the time to ventilate the head guys so here with me i'm holding expression ultra braid so i'm using color four for the ventilating part i'm going to use it actually to ventilate the the wig cap guys okay so if you really don't have time to do the ventilating yourself just go ahead and buy the already made 360 ventilated wig cap and then use it to make this beautiful braid okay so like i said this ventilating part really took me a long time because i'm a very busy person and i have little kids to attend to as well okay so it took me really a long to to do the ventilating part yeah so now I'm going to cut this hair into four parts, but if you if you want yours to be a little bit shorter because after uh, ventilating the hair, the length of the hair came out 18 inches length. So if you want it shorter, you can go ahead and cut your black uh, braid just like this into five parts, okay? But I cut mine into four, yeah. So after doing this, I'll then go ahead and separate the, the hair into the first section before... Uh, pulling up the tip just like so so you want to put the the tip into a medium length uh, size you don't want it to be too long because you don't want to like uh, mess up with the hair you are holding so after doing this i'm going to hold the hair very tight in the middle part and then start to comb it from the end up to the middle where i'm holding the hair so you can see what i just did right there i fold the hair around my finger just to make sure the hair doesn't pull out okay like i don't want to lose excess hair during the combing uh process okay so after doing this i'll then go ahead and tie it just like so keep it aside and then repeat the same process with the rest of the hair guys okay so after doing this i'll go ahead with the ventilating of the hair so i'm using the tiniest crochet hook okay i'm having so if you want to get this type of crochet hook you can go on amazon and then buy it okay yeah or you just use a normal ventilating hook if that is what you're having and if you can use it so after ventilating uh the cap so i left the crown area which i will be sewing in my swiss lace so i'm using my tip pin to just secure the lace material on the crown okay before using a uh, needle and thread to to sew it together so if you have black thread you can also go ahead and use a black thread but for this i'm going to sew the the nets together using a brown thread which matches the color of the swiss lace as well okay so after passing the needle through the the boat lace just go ahead and tie it twice just pass the needle in between the thread twice and then pull it very tight to secure it so i'm going to do the same process around the swiss lace from one end to the other end until i am done so when i get to the end i'll just cut the the thread just like this separate it into two and then tie it twice to secure it very well guys and then after that just cut the excess thread out of it so now i'm going to take off the t pin i use in securing the the cap and then trim off the black cap under the brown lace material okay so when you are doing this you want to be really careful when you're cutting the black cap because you can mistakenly cut the the brown lace on the net okay you don't want to like <laughs> mess the whole thing up so be careful when doing that and after trimming off the black cap i will then go ahead and place it back again on the mannequin head now i'm i'll be trimming off the the excess lace coming out from the corner of the the hair okay just like this and then continue with the ventilating of the hair guys you can also do this by uh, sewing in the swiss lace first before you ventilate or just go ahead ventilate and then leave the space you're going to sew the the lace material on okay so i did my the other way around so while ventilating with the hook you don't want you just want to make sure you're not picking too much hair so at the back of the hair uh, the size of the um, the hair you are picking uh, shouldn't matter a lot because at the end the hair in front or at the crown area or in the middle is going to cover it at the back 
so at the crown which is this part make sure you you pick like uh three to four hair strand okay and make sure it's very very close together you don't want too much space at this point so i'll be ventilating one part like making a straight line to the end and then go to the other side as well and then do the same thing until the middle comes together like making a straight tiny line in the middle and now that i'm done ventilating the the, the wig i'm just using my brush to just brush it through to the tangle the hair before i uh, continue with the um, the braiding process okay so now i'm going to change the hair color i'm using to color 350 expression braid okay i just love using this expression product i don't know why maybe it's because it's not heavy you know <laughs> so for this i'm going to cut the hair into three parts okay because i wanted the the length of the hair to be really long guys you know now <laughs> So I'll be cutting this into three parts. So if you want yours to be short, like you can go ahead and cut it into four. Okay, which is at the end you're going to get 18 inches length. Okay, of your braid is going to be 18 inches length. But if you cut it into three parts, you're going to end up having 36 inches, like 36 centimeter length. Okay. So I did the same thing, pulling out the, the hair from the tip and then at the end I will be rubbing my b -Wash hair cream just a little bit because I don't want it too creamy or too oily, okay? Just rub it just like so on the hair and then use your hand to just like detangle it a little bit. You don't have to comb it again, okay? And then just tie and set aside. Then do the same thing with the rest of the hair, okay? Yeah. So here is the braid. I already continue with the braiding just to make this easier for me. Yeah. So right now I'll be showing you guys how I braid this hair. First, you want to section a little part of the black hair into section. Make sure it's not too big. Okay. And then get a medium size uh, hair you're using, whatever color you're using. Then go ahead and then make sure you fold the, the color you're using like one side should be longer than the other side take the measurement like the length size of the previous uh, braid we made okay because you don't want to braid the hair while some are short and then the others are long make sure you take the previous length of the braid before you start to to braid so while you're braiding you want to separate the the black section hair into three braid it just once before you cross the colored hair into it so after braiding it now i'm going to be adding the tiniest black hair into the colored one separate it into two and then start to braid so when you are braiding you want to make sure you are like pressing the braid to the, the crown okay to the scalp area because you don't want the, the braid to pull up okay if you know what i mean so just continue with the braiding so at some point you will discover like um your your hair strand you're holding you're having a smaller size of hair strand braids and the other ones are big just go ahead and borrow from the bigger hair you are holding to the smaller one add it together and then you start to braid so before you get to the end you also discover the same thing always borrow from the bigger hair to the smaller one then continue until you get to the end guys okay so that is it for the braiding it's not difficult like i said but the only difficult part here is to ventilate the hair that can actually take a long time to make okay yeah so this is the hair i'm just like showing you guys like i said just watch it and um i'll come back to continue with the video but before i leave i just quickly want to tell you guys uh i use just one pack of uh, color four which is the black one just one pack to do all the ventilating part of the hair and then I use three uh, expression braid, which is the color 350 to braid the hair. Okay, yeah. So for the back side, I cut, you saw me, I cut the hair into three parts. Okay, so at this part where I'm braiding, like you're seeing right now, and the middle to the front, I cut the hair into two. Yeah, that is why the hair is really, really long. At the back, you don't need it too long cut into three parts which is the color 350 if you understand what I'm saying and then from middle to the crown to the frontal part cut the color 360 into two parts okay so that is it guys so I'll come back to 
show you guys uh, the rest of the video keep watching and have fun guys guys so haven't done braiding all the hair now I'm going to trim the hair with a scissors you want to be careful when doing this because you don't want to cut those lovely braids you just made guys okay so after trimming the hair next is going to be placing this hair in water okay just to reduce the volume a little bit so in an empty deep bucket I'll be placing all the ends of this braid into the, the bucket so when you want to do this you just you don't just place all the hair just like that into the, the bucket. You want to hold the cap at the end. Make sure the water doesn't come in contact with the, the cap. Okay. Just from the middle to the ends of the hair just like this is enough. And then instantly start to dip the hair into the hot water. You are going to be using hot water for this and not cold water. Okay guys. For those of you who don't know how to do this, it's hot water we are using. So quickly dip the hair into the water until you get a very straight end, just like so, okay? And after this, you will use a towel to dry up excess water dripping out from the braid, yeah? And then immediately after drying up the hair, just go ahead and place it back to your maniki head, okay? So you want to trim the hair while it is still wet because when it dries, you are going to lose the size of the, the hair. So now I'm going to hold everything together, yeah, and then take the length of which I want and then use the scissors to just cut it. I don't want to cut it too much, just a little bit, just like this is okay. Yeah? So now I'm going to let the hair sit just like this and allow it to dry before wearing the hair. So this is the inside of the wig cap. The hair is dried already. The next day I'll be just like showing you guys what I said, okay? So this is the hair and the length. You can actually see how long the hair is and how beautiful it is looking, guys, and how straight it is, yeah? So my beautiful self is going to be wearing this hair just to present it to you guys, how it's going to fit if you are wearing it on your own beautiful hair, guys, yeah? So just go ahead and wear it just like this. Adjust it to your fittings okay just make sure you adjust it to your how you want it to be yeah i think you can actually style this like you can just put this line in the middle uh, or in the sideways if that's what you prefer yeah so this is me and my hair you can see the hair how it's looking you can see it's looking a little bit of more natural at the middle part guys and everything came out so beautiful and the hair hair weight was not too heavy is uh, not too light either and it's easy to wear so if you're going out like in, you're in a hurry you are late for appointment just do your makeup and then wear this lovely braid it's easy to wear let me just say it's a wear and go hairstyle guys okay and again you can also go ahead and style this hair that's like this you can just tie it to the back if you don't want it come in contact with your face just tie it just like so at the back and Voila guys, there you have your style. So this will be the end of the video. If you like this hair, if you like this braid, if you want me to make for you, leave your comment below and then contact me on the email I will leave on my description box, okay? Tell me the link, tell me the color and then anything you want, I will do for you. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate those of you who joined from TikTok and I hope to see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your comment behind. And also turn on the notification bell for next new video update. Thank you so much and remember, bless. Take care. Bye, guys.